So we took these patients. Now we have 100 in the trial. We were only able to match 80 in the Miami Heart trial because of age restrictions in that study compared to the population that we studied. But now we're going to compare 80 patients of our lean mass hyperresponders to patients exactly the same, same age, gender, race, diabetes, hypertension, all the risk factors, except for LDL cholesterol. And we're going to see if they're different. Here's our baseline characteristics, and I think you can appreciate ages are identical, um, the uh, ethnicity is identical, cholesterol is going to be different because of the lean mass hyperresponders. The average LDL was 272, right? Normal for an asymptomatic person is 130, uh, and compare that to 123 in the patients in Miami Heart. Blood pressures were perfectly the same. Uh, C-reactive protein inflammation was the same. Hemoglobin A1C, their, their predisposition to diabetes was the same. So everything else matched up very nicely. So <coughs> we looked at um, this population and there were no differences, I'll show you a moment, but no significant differences in plaque between these patients with an LD, the Miami Heart Controls LDL of 123 and the ketogenic uh, patients um, uh, uh, with an LDL of with an LDL of 273. So these are the this is the comparison. This is the primary results of these 80 patients. The calcium score, quantified plaque in the coronary arteries, score of zero in keto, score of one in the Miami Heart. So no difference. P value not statistically significant. Total stenosis score. Zero on average, the median was zero in the keto group. They had, on average, no significant plaque and a score of one, an average of one in the Miami Heart, no statistical difference. Total plaque score, this is where we're going to start getting into our total plaque quantification. On average, zero in keto and one in the Miami Heart, no statistical difference. And how many segments were involved in the coronary tree? On average, zero with keto and one with Miami Heart. None of these were statistically different, but you can see even keto kind of trended on the better side of that. Higher numbers are more plaque and more stenosis. Now we're going to do quantitative plaque. We're going to get all plaque quantification, and that's undergoing, that's being done right now. But at least at baseline, these groups looked very similar. Now we looked at the LDL versus the plaque score. So this is increasing LDL. These are the LDL values of the patients, and here's the plaque that we saw in the lean mass hyperresponders. There was no relationship. If there was a relationship, you would expect a line like this, where a higher LDL was associated with more plaque, and we don't see that. Same thing with Miami Heart. The LDLs are lower, 123 instead of 272, but no direct relationship. So LDL didn't predict plaque in the coronary arteries. We then looked at um, total plaque score and LDL, just another analysis, again, increasing LDL, increasing total plaque score, and again, no relationship in keto, no relationship in Miami Heart. So the LDL did not drive plaque in the keto diet. In other words, patients who had a more significant hyper response, LDLs of 400, 500, 600 milligrams per deciliter, did not have more plaque. The, these patients had zero, the patients at the far extreme here. So no direct relationship between higher LDL induced by the ketogenic diet and plaque in the coronary arteries.